The prospect of a potential trade involving D'Angelo Russell has been recently discussed, with the Utah Jazz emerging as a likely destination. This implies that D'Lo could be a player on the move in the forthcoming season. Notably, the current Lakers roster seems tailor-made for trade possibilities. It's not a strict necessity, but rather an observation arising from the abundance of tradable salaries within the team. These players earn anywhere from $10 to $20 million and have shown positive attributes on the court. Among them, D'Angelo Russell, Roy Hakimura, Gabe Vincent, and Austin Reeves stand out. It's worth mentioning that while these players may not ultimately be traded, their contracts are indeed tradable, and D'Angelo Russell could potentially become a trade candidate for the Lakers if the season doesn't unfold as they hope. Alternatively, if things are going well for the Lakers, but D'Lo's performance is struggling, Gabe Vincent might earn the starting role, prompting the Lakers to seek an upgrade. When D'Angelo Russell signed his two-year deal with the Lakers, he voluntarily waived his implied no-trade clause. This leaves open the possibility of the Lakers trading him before this season's deadline, and this detail intrigued me, leaving me curious about his motivations for making such a decision. Regardless, this decision renders a potential trade scenario feasible for the Los Angeles Lakers involving Russell. Perhaps, things will work out smoothly with D'Lo, the combination of D'Angelo Russell as a starting point guard with Gabe Vincent as a backup could prove to be advantageous. Vincent's defensive prowess and floor spacing abilities would complement the team well. However, from an offensive standpoint, D'Angelo Russell is undoubtedly superior to Gabe Vincent. D'Lo is capable of delivering 20 points on any given night, a skill that holds immense value and should not be underestimated. He is one of the league's most proficient three-point shooters, even if he encountered some struggles during the playoffs. Nevertheless, his ability to knock down those shots in the regular season remains a significant asset. In the event of any apprehensions about his postseason performance, the Lakers, midway through the season, might assess their roster and consider trading D'Angelo Russell, especially if he garners attention as a potential trade target for the Utah Jazz. Personally, I find the current Lakers roster quite appealing due to its inherent flexibility concerning potential trade moves. This allows the Lakers to pursue upgrades in specific positions if the need arises. For instance, if they fail to secure a preferred big man before the start of the season, they might find themselves compelled to settle for someone else. In such a scenario, D'Angelo Russell could be the player they target for a trade to bolster their front court options. The Lakers have a range of options to explore as they navigate the upcoming season, and I'm genuinely excited to witness the team's progress. That concludes this segment. I hope you have a fantastic day. Be sure to like and subscribe.